What's up everybody, it's time for another edition of Battle of the Backpackers. I have been battling some of my best friends in the backpacking world and today is no different. This time I'm joined by Miranda. <laughs> and I'm super excited to finally get to go backpacking with Miranda and she's got an awesome setup and we're gonna go run through it. So here's the drill, this is what we do. This is, this is Battle of the Backpackers. Okay. We're gonna show off your gear. Okay. And it's fair game for me to like comment, critique, possibly make fun of uh, anything. You dare. <laughs> I know. And then uh, you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna yeah. go through my gear and you're gonna just like give your impressions, make fun of it, do it as you will. Cool. One other note, Rainer is here as well. As <laughs> if you know Miranda's channel as well, Rainer's a key part of that. So he's gonna run the camera. So we're gonna yeah. dive in. Give it off to Rainer. All right, I am the captain now. In some sense, I do feel like it's too bad that we don't get to make fun of Rainer's gear. Oh, we could do a triple <laughs> edition of Battle of the Backpackers. I'm just saying, Rainer has some stuff, so. Rainer's got the goods. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this feels like it also might be a good time to mention that most of the gear that I'm currently using on this trip is actually not my usual gear. Are you making excuses already? I am already making excuses. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I just mean, I just mean, yeah, feel free to make fun of it. So the thing about the gear that I have right now is that it was actually picked for me by other very well-known YouTubers in the outdoor space, including you. I may have been a part of this. So I'm just saying that any gear that you make fun of, I am going to definitely tell you who actually picked it. Well, I know who's gonna, I'm gonna make fun of your tent. Sure. That, absolutely. That guy was whack. <laughs> that guy's an idiot. <laughs> cool. Do we start with mine? Yeah, let's start okay. with yours. Awesome. That's the way out of it. You are the Great. guest of honor. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. so here we have my tent. Um, <laughs> Ooh, and your pantaloons. <laughs> <laughs> ignore, ignore the pants and the socks drying out on top of it. Um, so the tent that I'm using right now is the tarp tent rainbow one person tent. Yeah. Um, this is actually only my second night sleeping in it. Yeah. And right now I have it set up in its um, non freestanding version. <laughs> So there's multiple ways to set this up? Yes. Okay. So as you alluded to it, I chose this tent for yes. you for your video. Yes. And I was really curious about this tent. I think my first thoughts on it are that it's incredibly spacious. I think that's the biggest thing that I'm like noting about Can we it. open it up? Um, nope, actually it's locked closed. It's no, locked? It doesn't open. <laughs> it doesn't open, <laughs> right, yes. that's a problem. Come into my house. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it is It is super, super spacious. And I'm like pretty sure that I have dirty underwear knotted in the back corner over there, so just don't look at that. Well, that's that's the, that's where dirty underwear goes, <laughs> right. so no problem In a there. knot, this, yeah. is, this is the way. Yeah, I mean, this is considered a one person tent, but you can kind of tell, I mean, it's pretty big. That is like, actually surprisingly spacious, and it's not very different than my two person tent. I noticed that <laughs> last night. It's almost the same. I was print. like, hang on. So that's pretty cool because oftentimes one person tents are like, yeah, for who? An ant? I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is dead for ants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it is actually super, super spacious and I do love the different ways in which you can set it up. One thing I've, I've been sad about on this trip is that both you and Rainer have tents where you can just keep the rain fly off and look at the stars. Yeah. And you picked a tent for me at a single wall in most <laughs> places and I can't do that, so. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, he makes me a little shy. <laughs> <laughs> so this uses one single pole. Two poles. Oh, it's two poles. Yeah, so there's one pole that goes through like front to back of the tent and then there's a ridge pole. Okay. Um, and then six stakes technically for the setup and then four stakes in the corners and then one for, there's no vestibule on that side, it's a single door. You can set it up as semi, a freestanding, semi freestanding by using trekking poles for the top two corners and then a trekking pole for the bottom two corners. So that was something that I was like super curious yeah. about seeing in reality was like, you know, using these, these some of these like kind of trekking pole style tents yeah. or just like not having a lot of options. And I love that there's multiple ways to set yes. the tent up. Yes, I agree. I think it's incredible. For such a lightweight tent to have such a small footprint is kind of uncommon because yeah. oftentimes ultralight tents have a large footprint because they need to take out a ton of space with like guying out trekking poles and all sorts of stuff. True. Um, but with this one, because of the single pole and the ridge line, it ends up being a very small footprint for a very spacious tent. Do you remember what price it is? No. The price is... I think it was, yeah, I think it was like <laughs> two, in the mid 200s. Uh, so yeah. actually a pretty like reasonable cost. And then your sleep system? Yes, so my sleep system is the Thermarest Neoair X-Lite NXT. Do you like it? I, I do. Does it crinkle? It actually doesn't, listen. Quiet. It's quiet. Nice. Your sleep bed is loud as What? Maybe your sleep bed is loud as one of you is a rustler, 
Who was wrestling last night? <laughs> Who wrestled? Rainer and I were wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, there was a lot of wrestling happening. There. So, okay. yeah, just so you have you heard of ancient Greece? Ancient <laughs> 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 um, we were doing some Greco-Roman wrestling. <laughs> oh, man, why did I miss that? <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, I mean, yeah, it's good. Uh, so Thermarest changed this pad, I think, a few years ago, and it's yeah. not nearly as loud as it used to be. Okay. It used to truly be like sleeping on a potato chip bag. Yeah. This one's not that bad. Nice. Um, this is not my traditional sleeping pad. I'm just going to say that right now. Right? The sleeping pad I normally use is a Nemo Tensor, and this is obviously Thermarest Neo Air. If I'm being honest, they seem basically the same to me in a lot of ways. Yeah. So that's my sitting pad. And then my pillow is the Sea to Summit Eros pillow. Oh. With ergonomic shoulder shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You, but you're not a fan of this one. It's not that I'm not a fan of it. I haven't had enough time using it to decide if I have an opinion on it or not. It's yeah. just that I really like the Nemo Philo pillow. I'm yeah. a Nemo diehard. I'm just like such a fangirl. That's and cool. They're a great love, company. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. yeah. I think I like that you can kind of be like, Nonk. Yeah. You know, there's something nice about that. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to try the Eros Down version of that. Oh. That's a better, it's like a more premium of the Sea to Summit pillows. Oh, okay. Because I thought that's what you had. No. And this one I've used, and I think that one just feels kind of cheaper. Okay. But the Eros Down. Anyway, Aeros the down Eros pillow. Down pillow from Sea to Summit. Very similar. Sweet. Uh, well, uh, this is the Eros like ultralight. Yeah, Eros Ultralight. Well, this is what Kyle hates hiking chose for me. So. Well, Kyle doesn't know what he's doing. Kyle hates pillows. <laughs> he hates pillows. <laughs> My sleeping bag is actually a quilt from Hammock Gear. This is the Burrow Zero Degree 850 Full Power Quilt. This is from Garage Grown Gear. This is from Garage Grown Gear. The sleeping pad is actually Rainer's sleeping pad oh. that I am borrowing. <laughs> Thanks, bud. You better not fart on it. Oh, I've been farting nonstop on it. <laughs> yeah. Just rubbing my butt cheeks on it. Do you feel like that quilt has been sufficient for you? Um, I, I was a little cold last night, actually, yeah. and I'm surprised that I was cold because it's a zero degree quilt. It'd probably get down to like 35. Last it wasn't. Night. It was cold, but it wasn't like. It wasn't that for cold. a zero. It shouldn't be cold. I know. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like, of course, my initial thought is, what did I do wrong? You know. It, it, who so, knows? Uh, Could so be. yeah, it was mostly my butt cheeks that were cold, like right in this butt cheek zone. So. Your butt cheeks were yeah. not warm. Oh, Where's the butt cheek zone? The butt cheek zone, like right. <laughs> that's the butt cheek zone. That is the butt cheek zone. Butt -cheek zone. <laughs> so yeah, so that's my my setup. Okay. I, uh, I don't have like a ton of really strong opinions about it just yet, but every time, like when I climbed in bed last night, I like thought about Kyle while I was in bed. What I mean is that like this is the exact setup that he used for the PCT, okay. and so it had me thinking like, okay. If I'm not even warm enough, and he had a 20 degree quilt, not a zero, I'm um, just thinking about like, would I want to spend, huh. you know, five months sleeping on this specific pad with this pillow in this bag? Yeah. So, yeah. That's he that. did it. Kyle well. did it. Anyone can. Yeah, that's, okay. my, that's my stuff. That's awesome. My, my dirty underwear's back there. And let's look at that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whoa, get, get, get out of there. Get out of there. No. Ooh, blue, blue, blue. look at all this underpants. <laughs> Oh, dust right. yourself yeah, off good. after the battle. <laughs> yes. The dust settles. Um, I want to see your backpack. Yeah. And then just kind of like open-ended anything else that you feel like is interesting or okay. unique to you or something you want to share about. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. Okay. So the pack that I'm using, I'm really excited about. All right, so this is my bag. This is actually a bag from a company called Light AF. Ooh. And it is a custom backpack. Made just for you? Made just for me. Wow. I mean, not like I'm- Can I look in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing in it. More dirty underwear. Uh, is that, is there poop bags? Yeah, the poop bags, but they're, they're clean. They're, <laughs> they're un unused poop bags. Unused poop bags. We think. <laughs> um, we hope. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is a custom bag. Um, is it custom because of the color or is it custom because of shape and design? It's, so it's, it's custom for a lot of reasons, actually. So yeah. the um, size is also custom. So the uh, hip belt is custom to my size in the sense of like, I told them my hip measurements and they put on a, yeah. a hip belt that will fit me or like people within my size range. Yeah. Um, and then yes, the fabric is custom. On top of that, there's certain things that were added, such as there's a stretch pocket on the very bottom of the bag that I can actually, Ooh. it's really, really dirty right now. But I can actually plant. reach this. So I can like reach behind me when I'm I'm what? hiking and I can shove something, just one side is open. What do you put closed. in there? You can put anything in there. I would put anything in on this strip because like I don't really want anything to fall out of there. And you I can don't put know. dirty underwear in there. <laughs> That'd actually be a really good spot for it. Yeah. I should do that. Yeah. I was thinking that tomorrow I might put my puffy jacket in there because then oh. I can like grab it if I needed it. You know what I mean? Just make sure that you don't put it in wet sand. 
and then oh, transfer shit. all that water into your dome. Oh, fudge. Good point. You'll put my camp shoes in there. That would make sense. Hey, there you go. That's a great idea. Yeah. So, so that's custom. This pocket on the front is actually something that I had them add. And, and is that these... something that, because of your star power, or is that what Light AF does? That's what Light AF does. Oh, yeah, that's my cool. my like star power has nothing to do with how amazing this bag is. There's also these two pockets on the side. So these are stretch pockets. Right now I have our Canyon permit in there. Oh, good. This is also where I've been keeping my first aid kit, which nice. is out right now. Nice. And then I've got another pocket just like that on this side. And then also on the shoulder straps, I have these two pockets. This one's actually covered up because I'm, I have a GoPro attached here since we're filming right now. Yeah. Um, but this pocket actually fits a smart water bottle oh. or anything else. You put a cell phone in here, whatever. And you love where that's placed. <sighs> so or is it the problem, the smart water bottle? Because you've complained <laughs> once or twice. I've complained. <laughs> Dan, this is your fault. Dan, it feels like a microphone. Like, Dan, I hate you. So the thing about that, uh, I B love. Yeah, yeah be, uh, insert B-roll. Yeah. I love where the pocket is placed. I am still very much getting used to these smart water bottles. Okay. Like this is a huge bottle for me. It's really tall. And so when they're right here, it's definitely like, I feel yeah. like I'm just getting like hit, <laughs> hit in the face. You know, you know have you ever yeah. like, you ever like riding the bus and there's someone standing in the aisle with a backpack on and just like every once in a while they'll like turn like this and their backpack's like, <laughs> like that's how I feel. Like, that's, I, that's, what's, happened. that's what's happening. Perfect to me. analogy. I will say that they are placed in such a way that, you know, as a, as a person with boobs, there's like a concern with pack pockets. Yeah. It's like, how do you like get it around? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because so, otherwise if something's just strapped right here, it's like, you can't really have that, you know? And those pockets are placed in such a way that it sits really nicely on my body. It is in a place where it's not really bothering me, yeah. you know, um, and that's that can be hard to find, especially with packs that are unisex. Generally speaking, do you like the light AF design and like comfort and weight, the way that it carries weight and things like that? I love this bag. Yeah. I love how comfortable it is. The hip belt is like really plushy and super, super soft. Yeah. I really love this buckle system that they have, like Ooh. puckle, puckles, puckles. The way that the hip belt buckles is like this. Um, and then there's a two tighteners. So you can actually tighten this around your hips in a different place. So if it's like mm -hmm. really wrapped around your hip bones yeah. and say you have like bigger hips or you just have like more padding on your body lower, you can tighten this one less, you can tighten this one more. And that makes it really like wrap around your body. Wow, that's super cool. I actually haven't seen that element of a buckle system before. I, me neither, yeah. And honestly, I was a little skeptical at first, but. Yeah. Um, and Do also you... the color. The color is is very brilliant, if you will, uh, in all senses of the word. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. Cool. It's very colorful. Feels very you. Yeah, it's like you can... definitely a Miranda bag. You know. Look at that. I know. That's so cool. So many people, when this pack came out, tagged me or like messaged me or emailed me, and they were like, "This company just made a backpack in this color scheme <laughs> that is so you. That's you amazing. You should get it." And uh, Light AF was like, hey, we just, we we'll do this is really cool. That's you know? awesome. So, oh, and. Oh. Matching candy bag. Matching candy bag, that's perfect. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Because you can't have that clash. No. Uh, no, that would no be wrong. Way. That would be wrong. I know, the matching fanny pack is such a cherry on top. I love it so much. And it's easy to like wear the fanny pack with the pack. Totally, so one thing they did was really cool about this fanny pack is that actually the way that the buckle attaches is on your side. Yeah. So like. You see, if I'm wearing this fanny pack, it attaches on the side of my body, not the back of my body. Yeah. It's not adjustable on either side. When you wear the backpack, you don't then have a buckle that's like That would be your back. terrible. Yeah. So they're smart. Awesome setup. I actually really like it. I think that I, if, if anything, I'm not a big fan of your quilt. I'm not really a big fan of my <laughs> but, quilt either. But everything else. So <laughs> Kyle, I, I'm sorry. I love you, Kyle. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't think the quilt, to me, I, I wouldn't personally want to use. The first quilt that I ever fell in love with was the Enlightened Equipment yeah. quilt. And the, the hammock gear burrow seemed so similar yeah. that I was like, hey, Kyle, like, can I just use, I already have a quilt, can I just use that? And he was like, no, no, this is the one, this is one that That's I love. That's the one. And so, I mean, it, look, to each your own, you know? Yeah. But uh, man, the Enlightened Equipment quilt that I have, there is, there's a number of things about it that are so much cozier. And if you watch the video where I talk about this gear, I'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love it. It's okay. not it's not my top choice. Fair enough. That's pretty unique to you. So maybe there isn't anything else, but if there's any other little doodads, can be small, whatever it is that you yeah. want to show, I'd love to see it. I have 
at least two. Actually, I have three more. Three more? Maybe four oh, more. Oh my okay. goodness. But they're, but they're related, I okay. promise. Okay, so first oh, of all. We gotta get this know, done, we're losing bad. daylight. Sorry, sorry, so. You're good, you're good. Um, okay, so first of all, my pea kit. Ta-da. I don't have one of those. This is a pea funnel. Okay. That you can use to pee standing up. I really like it. Yeah. I've used a number of different pea funnels before. This one's from Human Gear. I like how small it packs, I like how it packs flat. Yeah. But I will say it's a little um, sharper than other pea funnels. So oh. if you're someone who squats to pee, um, just keep that in mind that this one's kind of sharp. So yeah. Mm. Uh, and then this is my cooler cloth that is has been used, so I'm gonna hold it over here. So I will not. <laughs> Don't get close. I will not it, touch it. It says this is my cool gosh darn. This is a, a custom cool <laughs> cloth. So that is my pee setup. Do you feel like that is a liberating thing? I do feel like it is a liberating thing. Yeah. yeah I so think for other women who are, or like anybody who's like, this is a big deal to me and I won't go backpacking or hiking because yes. of this. Yes. Does this solve that problem or I think it help definitely helps. Solves it? Yes, I think yeah. it definitely helps. I think certain things make that harder when you're backpacking and you're hiking, you know? Yeah. And so I think this is really awesome because it at least helps solve certain problems like having drippy underwear or yeah. like having to crouch behind a bush or be seen, you know? Yeah. So this definitely helps. I also think that having something that's like designated for something like peeing outside does make it feel more like a acceptable process. It's almost like this is the kit that I take with me. This is just a part of an everyday thing, you yeah. know? It's almost like closing a bathroom door when you're going to pee or like knowing that you like have to have toilet paper somewhere close by. It's like, yeah. it's just part of the process so it feels more normalized. And then this is actually something that I picked up attaching hand sanitizer from a person that I met at Trail Days, Appalachian Trail Days. Yeah. And uh, she was like, oh, you have to attach hand sanitizer to your pee kit, because then it's just like right there. So. That, that makes total sense. Okay. okay, so that's one. Okay. Um, I'll keep this shorter, and I'll just show you the other thing, which is related to poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love it. Obviously. It's on brand. It's it is on, on brand, brand. it is. Yeah. I never meant to be the poop lady. But here we are. Here we are. <laughs> this is my poop kit. And this is my poop bag. Were there little poops on that? There are little poops on it. <laughs> <laughs> this poop bag is actually from a company called Space Bear Bags. I'm holding this far away because there's actual there's, poop in it. That's used. This has been used. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to show it to you. You can't, there's no smell of vision on the camera. Yeah. So this is actually a poop pouch from Outdoor Element. This is designed to be used to carry out dog poop or human poop. I'm actually using it to carry out my human waste. Because we are in a unique ecosystem, we can't poop and just bury it in the ground. So we gotta carry all our poop out. That's cool. I know. So you don't like, really smell it, it feels mm -mm. contained. It feels very contained, it's yeah. super durable. Like yeah. this bag is not gonna be punctured at all. That's great. So uh, yeah, and Outdoor Element, the company that developed this bag actually did it specifically because they're asked to buy a national park where it was really hard for them to convince people to carry out yeah. dog poop in particular. Yeah. And they were like, please make something that makes this possible. So I made this. That's a cool solution. I know. So that's that. And then this is my poop kit. And the main thing that I want to show you is actually my bidet. You have a bidet out here? <laughs> Hell yeah. What? I haven't yet used it. I did poop yesterday. I didn't use it. That's I know bougie. It is so bougie. Especially <laughs> where water is like a rare resource. Yeah. But this bidet is what? the absolute coolest thing, <laughs> <laughs> look at it. You fill it with water and then you like snap this on. <laughs> then you, what? Then you just bidet yourself. You just go boop. Yeah, totally. Oh Front my... or back, feel, you know, feel whatever, it out. Whatever feels good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, how many squirts? How many, do you have to refill? <laughs> How does it work? I, I mean, so, I know how it sort of. Right, you know just how it. Spritzy clean. It just spritzy clean. Well, it makes a really, it's like a, it's like an aggressive, Ooh. you know, imagine like a fountain spurt. So <laughs> it's like, it's like, ah, and as long as you're still squatting, your butt cheeks haven't, this is probably way too much information for hey, your channel. I'm really we gotta, sorry. We gotta know how it works. <laughs> it's like, as long as you're still squatting, your butt cheeks are not like touching. So you're not like smearing anything. So you're just kind of like. Yeah. Squirting away the bits, you know? That's like what you're, <laughs> and it like squirts very aggressively. So I would say that probably one bottle full is enough. Does this replace toilet paper? If we were backpacking in an area where we could bury our poop, yeah. we had access to water, yes, I would not bring toilet paper. Wow, okay, that's yeah. amazing. That's the first time I've ever seen that in the wild. Really? Yeah. Dude, I have had several bidets. This is a new bidet for me. Okay. Also by Human Gear. I was impressed with the pee funnel, so I was like, may as well try the bidet. And it's it's really awesome. It packs really, really small. I could not get behind the like Kulo clean bidet things that screw onto smart water bottles. 
people were like, oh, it's just you just bring one, like you just use it on your smart water that bottle for drinking. That feels like cross contamination zone. It really does. I'm like I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I love this because it packs so small. Yeah. So. You have way more trinkets, especially like bodily function related trinkets than than I have. Yeah. So. Thank you for enlightening trinkets. me. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm a, yeah, you can't really make fun of my gear because it's so awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> I can only make fun of Kyle, really, right. for That's what it. he chose. I know. Yeah. Did me dirty, Kyle. <laughs> wow. Did me wow. dirty. <laughs> that means now it's time for me to show off some of my kit. Come on over to my side of camp. So uh, Nemo just uh, sent this along because I was really curious about using the uh, Hornet Elite, the Osmo edition. Okay. So using that different way that they Fabric. What am I trying to say? Fabric. <laughs> That's the word. Different fabric on the rainfly. And actually, I'm super impressed with the overall weight, the design. Except this is a two-person tent. This does not feel like a two-person tent. No. I mean, okay, hang on. Is that the fault of the tent, though? Or is that the fault of your like incredibly luxe sleep system? Look at this bed. I, Look at on. this. This is the bougiest look at, can I just say? You can. Look at your entire aesthetic right now. Look at this, it's like, it's like white and blue bed, white and blue tent, <laughs> blue uh, jacket. That's true. Like you look like, you look like you're in an ad for backpacking that was done by people who were like, backpacking is pretty. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is very luxe. Yeah, I'm super impressed. And you were complaining about the lack of uh, star vision. This actually, that's one of my favorite things is like you can stare so right nice. through that and it's, you actually really see stars. One of the best developments for me as a backpacker yeah. is like learning to truly sleep great while being able to do it in a lightweight manner. Come on in, come on in. Oh, <clears throat> I will say I made, I made fun of you, but this is a beautiful setup. Like this is way more inviting than my tent. Like even just look at my tent over there right now. <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so it is a quilt, but oh, so there's there's a couple of cool things about this quilt. Oh. It has this like fast foot box kind of sewn in. So I don't know if your quilt has like Not a in. nice place for your feet, but this is very nice. And then wow. for colder nights, just with one little clip there, it oh. like creates a more sleeping bag feel if you want it and then you can still like kick a foot out and whatnot yeah yeah but if you haven't seen or used this system it oh. also integrates with the little sheet it's like a half sheet here so it kind of gives it a nicer little feel and you can Whoa. basically it allows you to eliminate pretty much eliminate drafts that might happen you know if you're moving around with a quilt Whoa. this does a really good job of keeping this kind of like tucked around you. And then my favorite part is just having this hood. Wow, that you can, that's huge. It is huge and you can dive into it. Oh my God. You can attach the pillow in there and it just keeps everything in place. So it feels way more like you're sleeping in a bed at home. That is so cool. This is the 10 degree version and I've had it down to 19 degrees and was actually warm in it. So Whoa. pretty sweet. And this is the new updated Zen Bibby sleeping mat. Oh, cool. uh, the ultralight version and I the light the old light bed was like the most comfortable mattress I've ever used yeah this but it was too bulky yeah. in my opinion for backpacking this is awesome it's it's not quite as comfortable but it's very comfortable wow. and and quite warm so okay so this is awesome but I'm curious like do you, first of all I love the color coded snaps on here. Yes, so, so you don't cute. get confused. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and so you don't get confused, but also it's just adorable. It is. Um, so do you have to, but you have to have all of the Zen Bivy stuff in order for it to work together, right? I would say no. You could just have the quilt. It would be kind of silly in my opinion to not get this. Yeah, makes sense. I feel like this is what makes it magical. Okay. And yeah, this would be serviceably good on its own, but it's made to integrate with this. Yeah. Like you wouldn't have like the straps that yeah, would like yeah. keep it. So yes, I don't know why you wouldn't get this. But you could put on a different sleeping pad, is that right? Oh yeah, I oh, mean basically cool. this will fit on a 25 inch wide oh. mattress. It could be a different mattress. It's, it's very cozy It's lucky. so cozy, <laughs> I love it so you, much. You this morning, yeah. oh my God. Yeah, I know. You and I were awake yeah. and we were like moving around and then we just hear this little voice that's like, 
way up so early, early bird. <laughs> and it's like your little head popping out of this like white quilt. Be like, <laughs> like get up. <laughs> You're like, just so cozy. Uh, it's bougie. It is super bougie. Yeah. Now it's bougie, but it's not like it's insanely heavy or insanely bulky. I mean, this is truly designed for backpacking, right? This version is yeah. the ultralight version. And I feel like it's actually competitive with yeah. other like ultralight quilt setups. That's awesome. So it's still it's on pretty. the bougier end, but right. it's it's a nice, compact, lightweight system. Okay, so how much does it cost? Uh, an arm and a leg. I think it's a thousand bucks. Oh. I think. It's just, it's purely because it's like, rather than adding a bunch of it's, appetizers, yeah. you're buying one big meal. But it, so yeah, it's feel. all like, kind of like their sleep system altogether. Yeah. It's a big price tag. Yeah. Especially if sleep is like, kind of a challenge for you. Yeah this solves a big problem in, in my yeah. opinion i am um quite honestly quite jealous yeah. because kyle did me dirty <laughs> with that, that quote. that's the main takeaway <laughs> that's here. the point of this video yeah kyle sucks <laughs> yeah. isn't it that whole setup that's just so drab and it, so not my personality <clears throat> all right so that that is one thing that i think is the knock on that tarp tent is like it's just dark. Yes, and it is really so dark. So you're kind of living in a cave almost. Yeah, and it feels a little bit cave-like. And I'm looking at Rainer's tent over there and your tent over here, both Nemo tents, and my tent right there. And it's like, <laughs> just to be totally stereotypical, I would imagine some like Boy Scout dad to come out of my tent. Yeah. And be like, I slept with my canvas backpack and you know, guarded my food from the bears. <laughs> I feel like this is of note. It is a new backpack for okay. the year. I've been using this backpack since last summer. Sweet. So it's been about eight months now, but this is the Mystery Ranch Radix pack. Radix. And it's their kind of foray into more lightweight backpacks. Okay. A lot of people would just be like, Mystery Ranch backpacks are five and a half pounds. I will never touch one yeah. of those. It has like a fully adjustable frame here. Oh, yeah. You can like do the torso, uh, torso length adjustment. And so it's like three pound, it's in the three and okay. a half ish pound range. Yeah. And, and I find it to be actually very comfortable. Um, I don't think it's the perfect pack, but I like the pack. Yeah. And it's, uh, I actually, my favorite stuff is just like the outside external, uh, so, sort of like what you were talking yeah. about here, having a brain. That's one of my like dings on ultralight packs really? is not having a brain. Uh, or a top loader because I just like having like snacks and headlamps and totally. things that are super easy to access up here. That's so funny because I have come to really dislike brains on packs. Like really? even my Flash 55, I've taken the brain off of it oh. because now that I've started using packs like that, I prefer to be able to strap some into the top and then like stuff a ditty bag or a stuff sack uh -huh. with all my brain stuff. Interesting. Well, to me, it's still a selling point of like the That's more cool. traditional backpack. Yeah, I dig that, yeah. <clears throat> and then the other thing I like about it is this big side zip. What? Basically, you can get at like your tent without having to un like take out all of the things. Okay, that is super cool. Yeah. But it kind of, it seems more like a gimmick. Do you use that? I did it today. Did you really? Yeah, like I like laid my pack down. And then I just opened it up. I pulled out my tent and the chair first, which were packed at the bottom. So what it does is it allows you to pack in the like most ideal setup yeah. without worrying about like order of operations. And then yeah, you can cool. still access stuff. So I do actually okay. use this. And it's one of the things that I really like yeah. about Mr. Ranch bags is like the ability to get at anything at any point in time without having to like undo I mean, yeah, that does kind of suck. <laughs> I Every, admit everything. That. <laughs> Tell me about the hat. <laughs> okay, so I, no. last summer, I got not skin cancer, but I got like a, a spot on my ear. Yeah. And it was precancerous. Oh. And so the dermatologist I went to see was like, you got to become a wide brim hat user. And so I started wearing like, I was in North Dakota at the time, yeah. and I just bought like a cowboy hat. And I was like, it, this is cool, but yeah. it doesn't really, it's not who I am. Yeah. And then uh, I found this one and it's from American Hat Makers and it just oh. is like, I like it. <laughs> it. It feels like me. So. It's very Indiana Jones. It in just, the best it's way. Like, <laughs> it's an adventure hat. It really is. It's just it really like is. an adventure hat. So I've, uh, that's, I'm actually really happy with that hat. It's cool. And the best thing about it is that it's got this like perfect soft, oh, yeah. so like, when you look up and you've got a backpack on. Oh, it doesn't like hit the backpack. It doesn't like, ah, I can't look up. 
you can still just like, it'll yeah. just like Aww. crush, whoa, <laughs> it'll just like crush and fold up and then resumes its space. That's so, pretty cool. Big fan. I dig it. So okay. Show One other thing I want to show you. I noticed that you did not bring a nah, chair. Nah, forget it. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> you didn't bring a chair and I want to know what's holding you back from the future. <laughs> I don't have a good answer to that because I'm jealous. Can okay. I just, you can sit in it. I just sit in it. You can. So this is the new Nemo Hornet Elite. And this is actually the first trip I'm taking this on. And I've become a chair user through like a series of stools and then uh, the Big Agnes Skyline and then the Helinox Chair Zero and now this one. And I think that this one Still to me is slightly less comfortable than the Helinox, but I prefer the overall design of this one. I think it's it's pretty cool. You can actually adjust like how far back you lean it or how far up it like gives you support. Oh, oh. it's getting some like real upright action. So you can sit more upright or yeah. you can be kind of in more lounge mode. This is so cozy. <laughs> and then I'm trying to pitch Nemo on calling this the keeper out of the sander. How's that going? Uh, not, not well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's actually called, but it yeah. keeps the seat out of the sand. That's genius. From just like sinking straight in. Oh, that's especially smart because you're like a canyon dude. You're I'm like, a canyon dude. You're like hiking canyons in sandy places. Exactly. And I love that they did that. Yeah. Now, I love Nemo's old chair. Yeah. The uh, old version of this one. What is it called? The Moonlight Not Elite. Moonlight oh, Not this Elite. This is the Moonlight Elite. This is, this the, is moonlight the Moonlight Elite. Oh, you go the Hoarded Elite before. I was like, yeah. you named it after the tent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The Moonlight Elite. The Moonlight Elite. So Nemo has like, some elite, elite yeah, items. Like the Hornet Elite. It is, it's for elite backpackers. Is that, why'd they give you one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I tricked them. I feel like they missed an opportunity to call it the Moon Elite. What? Moon, moon light. Moon elite. Moon, 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 moon elite. Moon elite. Moon elite. <laughs> moon elite. Okay, and you know who hates camp chairs? Who? Kyle. This is just a Kyle sucks video. This is, what is up with Kyle? <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, what is up oh, with Kyle? Dude, yeah, it beats me. <laughs> uh, you're a good dude, Kyle. We love you. <laughs> we do love you. Um, you know what's so great about a camp chair that people don't realize? Like, we were on our feet all day today, yeah. hiking in water and on, like, very rocky ground. And sitting in a camp chair allows your legs and your feet to have blood go to them it without is, any pressure on them. It is a truly restful state. Where I, I used to be just like, give me a butt pad, sit me yeah. on a rock, sit me on the ground. But like, part of it is me getting older, I will admit. <laughs> but it just helps like your leg recovery, it I does. think, after a long day on the trail. This is so nice. This is what I want. I'm coming away from your setup being like, I want to try all of that stuff. I just need a million dollars <laughs> and I will get it all. <laughs> well, there is something that I see that we didn't actually talk about that oh. I want. Oh. <gasps> Your booties and sandal combo. Are you so jealous <laughs> I of am this? so jealous. Dude, this is the best setup. This As my is... little tootsies are getting cold <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, why did you bring flip flops? Well, these are, uh, this is not my normal thing. I think that flip flops are nonsense camp shoes. They are. Because you can't wear socks with them. I did this morning. Well, you just get a wedgie, a toe just wedgie. Get a in a there. twedgie. Um, no, yeah. I, I, I packed my van to come on this trip. Oh yeah. And I thought that my hiking sandals were in them, and they weren't. Uh -huh. So then these were my backups. Oh, I'm sorry. So, well, let me tell you about mine. It's gonna be more jealous. I am jealous <laughs> of that though. So these are the uh, these are the Enlightened Equipment Torrid booties. Yeah. They're like little booty socks. And then I'm actually just pairing them with my Teva Universal sandals. These are my usual camp shoes. Yeah. And I love them as camp shoes. And I'll just like wear them with socks or whatever. But actually, uh, Taylor um, of Taylor the New Hampshire Hiker, yeah. you know, her YouTube yeah. channel, um, she recommended these to me. So she was like, oh, one of my all time favorite pieces of backpacking gear are these Apex Torrid booties. And I love this combo so much. I think that's brilliant. Isn't it? Honestly, I think that's brilliant. I like love booties, but I typically wear them only for winter camping mm -hmm. and only like in my sleeping bag. Yeah. But pairing them with like the strap on style sandals it's so is good. like, why didn't I think of that? It, it's so, it's so good. And I think the only reason I thought of it, honestly, is because I brought these to use at camp. Yeah. And I brought these to use as camp shoes. And I yeah. was like, well, what? 
Why, Why not, not the two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and what's so cool is like, because this is so adjustable, you know, it has to be really loose for this yeah. to fit in there, but it yeah. then they both adjust, it's great. That's so um, cool. Yeah, it's it's very, very cool, and it's definitely helping my feet recover. I'd recover better if I had this chair, though. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. is so nice. All right, well, I need right, cool. to stand up, yep, and yep. we need to wrap up this video. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so here's how it works, folks. Please leave a comment with whose setup you think wins. Oh. All right? I know that they're gonna say yours. You well, got this bougie setup. You, but you have some awesome stuff. I do. I do so, have some really, really cool gear. And it's okay to be like mix and match. Yeah. Like this yeah. is these are my favorite pieces of gear. Totally. So anyway, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you on what pieces of gear really stand out to you. And of course, go check out Miranda and her channel and her video yep. on all of these pieces of gear as well. Special thanks to Rainer as well for being camera operator. Thanks, Rainer. And let's wrap this up. Thanks yeah. so much for watching. See you later, everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope I, I probably messed up some things. Or your, your audience might roast me. Oh, let me cut that.